One of the most amazing things about Macabacus is its ability to auto color for us. Let's take a look at how it works. If we were to select this column of numbers, which are all in dark gray font, we could almost instantly auto color them so that the inputs are now blue and the formula at the bottom is in black. One of the things to note is that this is available to a certain extent in Excel. However, there are some serious shortcomings with Excel's functionality and also doing this using native Excel shortcuts uses a lot more keystrokes. Let's take a closer look. Okay, let's try to do this using some native Excel shortcuts. The first thing we need to do is tap the F5 key. It brings up this go to dialog box. Now we need to click special. Now we're into the go to special dialog box. We can go down to select constants and then we need to select the appropriate categories from the list. In this case, we're just looking for numbers. Now we can hit the enter key. We've highlighted all the inputs, but now we need to change the font color. So we're gonna tap the alt key and then H for home and then right up here, FC for font color. Now that we have this palette open, we can use the arrows to get to the appropriate font color we're looking for and hit enter. As you can see, that took us a few keystrokes to highlight those inputs and then change the font color. Not only is Macabacus faster, but we're going to see in a moment with the demonstration that Macabacus has the ability to highlight more things for us other than just inputs and formulas. Let's take a look. So let's investigate exactly how Macabacus can auto color everything for us. First of all, we have a few options. As you can see, we can auto color selection, sheet, or workbook. Let's look at auto color sheet. If we hit control alt S, instantly everything gets auto colored on the sheet. And if we look closely at column two, we can see that there's a number of colors that are coming up. Let's investigate to see what they mean. If we go up to Macabacus in the ribbon and click settings, configure, we want to look in this colors section and we want to scroll all the way down. We can see under auto color what everything means. So we have blue for inputs, black for formulas, but extra colors are coming up as well. Worksheet links, so links to another tab are coming up in green, which is so helpful. And any links externally to another file are coming up in this dark purple color. Amazing. The other thing which is coming up, which is really helpful, are hyperlinks and external data at the bottom. Now we don't have any external data in this particular file, but if we did have a link to something like S&P capital IQ or Bloomberg or PitchBook, it would be coming up in here as external data. One last thing that we want to investigate are these partial inputs in pink. Let's take a closer look at exactly what a partial input is. So Excel categorizes something as either a constant or a formula by looking for an equal sign. Let's take a look. In this cell, when Excel sees the equal sign, it instantly categorizes this as a formula, which in this case is the correct categorization. But what if somebody added a little plus seven at the end? We would ideally want that to be highlighted differently so that we would know that there was a plus seven in there. Macabacus will categorize this as a partial input. Another thing which Macabacus will do for us that's so useful is that if the person put in here equals 9,000 instead of just 9,000, instead of marking this as a formula, which is what Excel does, Macabacus will also mark this as a partial input. Let's give it a shot. If we run Control Alt S, we can see that these come up in that pink color for partial inputs. That is so helpful. Not only is Macabacus saving us enormous amounts of time, it's also helping us locate key items within our Excel files. If you're enjoying these tips and would like to see more of our content, please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for your support and we'll see you soon in the next video.